Because we are going to um, instead put on screen to what we know, what we call a layout, a layout view. Um, and that's going to be sort of like an uh, LCD where you use the ETC console, um, where we built a magic sheet. This is the MA's kind of version of a magic sheet. It's just going to be kind of a two dimensional layout um, of kind of how our lighting fixtures are positioned that we can use to access lights quickly by clicking on them or just see what's going on. So uh, first thing we need to do is in screen one down here, we need to open up um, the layout pool. So we're gonna click in the top left corner of screen one here, the small screen with the keypad. We're gonna go to the pools tab and we're going to find the layout pool right here on the second row, second one from the left and click that. So we can, we can create multiple layout views on this console um, and they're all stored in this pool. Um, for us, we're just gonna be doing one because we don't really need more if you want to do more later on by specific hanging positions or lay out different things like you want. Um, you can totally do that. But for us, we're gonna start here on number one. Now to start a layout view, we need to go ahead and um, store or load the fixtures into the layout pool that we're using of what we want to see. So for us, we want all of the lights. So we're gonna to come to the keypad. We're gonna type in 201 through 704, please. So we've selected all of our lights. And then we're gonna click the store button and touch on the first layout pool cell here. And that will store all the fixtures I had selected into that layout. All right, we wanna name this layout. So we're going to, to make sure it has the white border. It should, since we just stored it. And just type on our keypad, we're gonna name this automated because we are controlling all the automated lights through the um, Grand MA. Um, and then you would be controlling the conventional or static lights um, on the ETC. So for us, we're gonna name this automated. So now I've stored this into this pool. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it to select it. It will turn green. So I'm gonna select the layout I'm viewing. Now to view this layout, I need to actually open up a different uh, window or screen. So I'm gonna come up here to screen two and I'm gonna open a full screen um, window here. So click the top left corner. And this is gonna be in the other tab and we're looking for layout view. So there's two steps to a, to a layout. This window, the layout pool contains all of the different layouts. The where you view those layouts is in the layout view window, which is in the other tab. We'll click that and it will open up a layout view for us. And we can see here, I've selected the automated. So this is now displaying in the top right corner, we see link selected automated. So it's right now it's displaying whichever layout I have selected in the pool. And I can see all my lighting fixtures here. Um, for us, we're not going to leave it on link selected. We're going to click here where it says link selected automated until it just says automated one. So we're going to lock this window onto this specific layout. Now, all these lights that just piled these all in a row here, and that's not very helpful. That's not how they're laid out in our rig. So what we need to do now is we need to arrange all of these lights as they're hung in the, um, in the plot. So to manipulate these layout views, we need to enter the setup mode for this, for this layout view. Um, to do that, we're gonna go ahead and hit clear three times just to get rid of our selection. And the setup button here, right next to where we clicked for the um, link selected automated, if we toggle that on, it will turn blue and it will have yellow text. That means we're in setup mode now. And it will also map our encoders down here into functions for manipulating this layout. Uh, first thing we wanna do is these boxes are a little bit small for us. We're not able to actually see all of the fixture numbers um, and they're really tiny to have to try to click or touch on these if we're on a touch screen. So we wanna make them a little bit bigger. Now with this encoder section here in setup mode, um, we have three different um, sort of pages of things we can do. So the first one, if we come over here into the encoders, 
under the control tab, we see this where it says position one of three. So right now I am in the position section of the encoders. So the encoders would be moving things on X and Y, which we can see here. I'm gonna click on that one time and it's gonna to change to size two of three. So this is the second page of stuff we can do and it's dealing with size. So I can change the X size, the Y size, I can change both at once or change the size of the font. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change the size all. So it's gonna be a lot easier on the PC. We're just gonna click in that box. Oh, then my, my bad, I skipped a step. We actually do need to select all of our lights again. So to select these lights, we can either come up here into the layout view and just drag all over all of them. Or you could type in the numbers in the keypad, 201 through 704, please. So with those selected, now I can click in the size all box. It will bring up the calculator. We want to change the size of X and Y of this to 2.5. So we'll type in 2.5 here. And we'll hit please. So now all of our boxes are bigger. They're still piled on top of each other, but we're going to be moving them around. So that's okay. All right, so we've increased the size there. We also wanna change a little bit about how this layout behaves. Some of the options, which we have options for every window. Again, go away, my zoom controls. All right, um, any of the windows that we have open, we have this gold ball in the top left corner where we can access the options for that window. We're gonna click that for the layout view. Um, and what we're gonna do is we want um, these boxes to kind of snap to this grid that we see, just to get it more symmetrical and make it easier on us when we move this around. So we're going to go to snap always right here and click it to select yes. So now when we move these boxes around, it'll be snapping to the grid. Also, this is an option for you to do or not. I don't like seeing the grid here, especially if I have snap on because I don't, it's gonna snap for me. I don't need to see this grid. So um, I like more of a, just a black background or you can actually put in pictures for backgrounds on this if you want. Um, I'm gonna take the grid X and grid Y up here and change that to zero, which will get rid of those grid lines so that now it's a little bit cleaner. I like that. All righty. So that's all the options we need to, uh, wait, no, let me see. Yeah, that's all the options we need for this window. So we're gonna click the close button, X. All right, I don't need the layout pool open on this window. We're gonna put um, on this screen, we're gonna put other stuff down here. So we're gonna go ahead and just delete this layout window. So click the gold ball where it says layout and click delete window to get rid of that on screen one. Because what I want to put down here, oh, um, before we do this, let's go ahead and, no, we'll do this right now. So I'm kind of skipping a little bit in the um, tutorial. It wants you to arrange the lights, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and open up these windows first. So we wanna put on this lower screen number one, we're gonna put in a macro pool and a group pool so that we can access groups and also some macros that we're gonna build. Macros are simply um, collections of keystrokes that we can assign to one button so that when I click on that macro, it will automatically um, trigger a sequence of command inputs into the command line and it will do it automatically for us. So it's help, helping us to not have to push so many buttons we can automate some of those button presses. Uh, but for us, we're just gonna open the windows right now. We're gonna put one column here on the far right of macros. So we want to click again, this will fill all the way to the right and all the way down of wherever we click. So if I want just this one column, I'm gonna click the top right corner. Macros are our pool items. So we're going to the pools tab and we're gonna find macros here on the second row in the middle. We, open, we click on that and it will open that one column of macros. We're gonna fill the rest of the screen in with a groups pool. So we're gonna come all the way to the top left corner 
click there. We're still in the pools tab. We're gonna look for groups, which is the furthest to the right on the top row. So now I've got those open. We're gonna come back and deal with creating those groups and macros um, after we finish with the layout view, but now we have the windows open, so we're good to go there. All right, so now we wanna move these lights around in space to resemble our lighting plot. For that, we're on page five. You see this little um, diagram here, or graphic that's showing us um, how it wants us to arrange the lights. So to do this, it's gonna be pretty simple. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and hit clear three times to get rid of our selection. We still wanna be in setup mode because we're gonna be moving things around, not, not selecting them. And we're just gonna start with the first light over here, which is 201, our first Viper wash. And we're gonna look at, let me pull this up so you can see the diagram I'm talking about. This is the diagram on page five. We just want to match all of the fixtures to these different, um, to this graphic. It doesn't have to be exact, just get it as close as you can. Um, you're gonna have the zoom bar here on the right hand side if you need to zoom a little bit, which we probably will. Uh, but we wanna go ahead and try to fill this window in to match this graphic, okay? I'm gonna give you about 10 minutes. So if you're watching the recording of this, um, uh, you're going to want to pause your video and then resume it when you're finished with this. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to give those live about 10 minutes to arrange this and then we'll move forward from that. Um, but to move these around, we're just going to take them, click and drag, and we can drag these wherever we want them. Um, if I was looking at the graphic, these are 201 and 202 are going out in front of house. So I'm just going to plop this one in here. Next one is 202. Plop that one in right there which is matching our graphics. So you're just gonna to have to look around here and find where the different numbers are and move your lights to that position. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the recording now. You go ahead and pause your video and um, resume once you've completed that. Okay, so once you've got all that arranged like this, um, close as you can, um, Go ahead and hit clear three times um, and that will clear your selection out. So this is our layout view now. Um, we can use this um, to select lights. It'll also display kind of what's going on with the lights at times. Um, there's some things you can change in this window. So I'll just go through that real quick. We're not gonna really change anything. It's gonna be up to you if you want to. But first thing we want to do is if you're gonna change something in setup mode, just click on a light. Um, I'm gonna have to toggle setup again because mine went away. All right. So when we come in here next to the position one of three, size two of three, whatever, um, you see this edit selected. So if I have a light selected here and I hit that, it will give me the options for the displays of that light. So I can tell it to show the name or not, show the dimmer bar, which is this little bar on the left hand side, or the dimmer value, which is this lower number here. Um, I can add an image to it. So I could change that to be a moving head, light head, um, stuff like that, which will display here. I can also change some of the things like um, right now, the default is visualization of spot, which means if I grabbed, let's see, 201 and put it at full, it shows me a circle and it shows me the color and it shows me the dimmer value here. I could change that to be filled, which would fill the whole square or none. It wouldn't display that at all. So you could choose whatever you like there. Image size, I can make it big or small. It doesn't really change that much. I can also get rid of the dimmer bar if I don't wanna see that, or the dimmer value if I didn't wanna see that. So you can change this however you like later, just that's where you're gonna go. You're gonna select the light, go to edit selected right here, and change what you wanna change. Um, you can also add a text up here. So if I said Viper wash here, It's not displaying. It's not displaying it right now, but <laughs> there we go. Um, so I could add a text up here at the top to tell me what type of light it was, whatever you like. You can set this up however you like. 